evening, Carlinton. I'm your host, Jonah Hunt, and I'm delighted by reports of so many guests attending tonight's Taste of Carlinton. We're coming to you live from Carlinton Studio, and to bring you some important news about all the ways that Carlinton Education Foundation has helped make an impact on our district. Now let's go over to our news team to find out some more. Let's get into it. Now, our regular viewers are used to seeing us each and every morning as we bring you the daily news. Isn't that right, Rachel? That's right, Nathan. Homeroom teachers, students, and even parents at home tune in live every morning to our YouTube channel to catch our broadcast each day. If this is news to you, you can find our YouTube link on the Carlington homepage. Rachel, did you know that, that we have over 100 subscribers? You heard it here, folks. We are on our way to becoming a YouTube sensation. That sounds great, Nathan. Now let's tell everyone about the Carlington Education Foundation. Our producers tell me that we've got some evidence of student learning. All right, tech crew, roll that beautiful dream footage. The Carlington Education Foundation has played an important role to the entire Carlington learning community, helping students to engage, dream, and achieve throughout the entire district. The Foundation has been helping students and teachers since 2015 with funding for educational programs, special projects, and enriching activities to make the school environment a better place. Funding for these projects has come from special events including the annual golf outing at Shadow Lakes and the designer purse bingo. Additionally, the Foundation sponsored the Fashion Bash, featuring student models and items donated from David's Bridal and Men's Warehouse to help defray the cost of prom. Student participation in these events has been an important part of the Foundation's outreach to foster professionalism, responsibility, and growth among students through various leadership groups while building their resumes. Proceeds from these events, plus the Taste of Carlington, have made many exciting things possible. Teachers are able to apply for many grants to fund special projects in the classroom, such as... At Crafton Elementary, Mrs. DeRoss's students expressed an interest in STEAM projects. She was given a grant to purchase an engineering as elementary kit that provided students with a scenario in which they had to use critical thinking and problem solving to rescue a frog from alligators. Students benefited from this scenario by following guidelines using sustainable materials and will move on to designing their own aid drop packages to build upon their learning. Mrs. Harity's life skills students at Carnegie Elementary are learning to be responsible workers through partnerships with Carnegie Coffee and other local businesses. The Education Foundation's grants as the Education Foundation's grants as a new grants as a new per, percolator and coffee bean. The Education Foundation grants provided funding to purchase supplies such as a new percolator and coffee beans for a coffee business run entirely by the life skills students. Students in grade five at Carnegie Elementary were awarded funding to support the class trip to Washington, D.C. for a very special learning opportunity. This trip allows students to make important connections between classroom objectives and the amazing experience of traveling to our nation's capital to see these incredible sights for themselves. The shop at Carlinton has some new equipment. Mr. Polonis applied for a grant for new woodworking tools for students to use in the shop. Projects have enabled students to tap into their creativity and to bridge the learn the language gap. Many of our English as a second language students have bonded with their peers over these projects, making a great learning opportunity for everyone. Mrs. Campbell's second grade class at Carnegie Elementary received a grant to fund multicultural projects to help students learn about diversity. Not only did they gain valuable information, they also made wreaths to show their enthusiasm for growing together and appreciating all people of all backgrounds. The arrival of spring also marked the arrival of a, of a special addition to Mrs. Garrison's kindergarten class. The Education Foundation provided the class with materials and tools for viewing the life cycle of caterpillars as they transform into butterflies. Right now, we have reports that the caterpillars are full chrysalis state and we can expect the butterflies to emerge just before the summer break. What an amazing thing to see. The learning is growing with Mrs. Jones's peer-to-peer -peer partnership at the high school. Through hands-on classroom activities, students planted seeds of learning and took an active part in observing how plants grow. The basil, parsley, and oregano centipede pieces on your table tonight were made possible through a mini grant from the foundation. You can take home your planters for a donation of $20 to the foundation. 
Ms. Nacera's computer lab at the high school received a grant for brand new headphones. Now students can build 21st century skills such as innovation, collaboration, and communication through technology, making learning personalized for each individual student. Students may consult video resources for further classroom content, listening to and watch modules, participate in lessons interactively, and use various programs, websites, and apps to, fur to further enhance their learning. Digital literacy is on demand at the high school, and the students in Mrs. Fisher's photojournalism class are working with technology to produce Shark Tank style promotions. Students created photo essays, receiving peer feedback, participate, participated in mock interviews, and created final presentations using cameras and poster design hardware, which were purchased by the Education Foundation. These authentic learning projects allow students to combine research and presentation skills for their future. The shop at the high school also has a complete sound studio for all students in grades 7 through 12 to record original music, capture audio for podcasts, rehearse for concerts and performances, and more. Students can edit sound on industry standard software and share their masterpieces digitally. Authentic learning makes history come to life. Students at the high school attended a field trip to Gettysburg to experience the historical site firsthand. Classroom research combined with on-location learning provided the perfect opportunity to engage in history. This trip was made possible by the Foundation, and students were grateful for the chance to visit. And of course, the new studio right here for WCHS has benefited from the Foundation with a brand new video control and streaming program, sound mixer, and microphones, allowing us to share the news of, of the day on our new YouTube channel each and every morning. We would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Carlinton Education Foundation for their generosity in providing funding for so many important projects. And of course, we'd also like to thank you for attending tonight's found fundraiser event to ensure that students continue to have opportunities to learn and grow. Let's go over to the tonight's broadcast host, Jonah, to wrap up. Thanks, guys. And, th and again, thank you for attending tonight's Taste of Carlinton. Don't forget that you can take home the beautiful centerpieces on the table tonight for only the donation of only $20. That's three herbs, parsley, oregano, and basil for only $20 to the Education Foundation, where your help keeps us growing strong. Thank you for watching and have a great night.